Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to make this cool roller counter which can count up from any number or go down to any number. Really good way of adding some interesting animation to your slides. As a bonus, I'll also be showing you how you can even use a background with this effect. So let's get into it. Firstly, we're going to jump out into the editor. I'm going to create a new slide and I'm going to go to layout and choose blank. The first thing we'll do is just take this exact text because it's already got the color that I want applied to it and the size and I'm using Poppins font at 96 size and to add the gradient I went to format shape, text options and chose gradient fill. And I went from an orange to a blue at a 45 degree angle. So now I'm just going to go and get the percent text as well. Just going to paste that in. I'm going to make sure this is in the right place and this is in the right place. That's our starting point. So the next thing we need to do is actually put in all the numbers that we want to count to. And we only have to do this once, but once they're in, we can reuse them if necessary. So I'm going to create a copy of this by holding Control and Shift. I'm going to type 01. I'm going to zoom out to about 40%. And I'm just going to keep on doing this until I've got up to 21. Excellent. So now we've got all our numbers. And the one thing I need to do here is to select absolutely all of them. I'm going to deselect the other text and I'm just going to make sure that the vertical distribution is correct, which is basically the space between each of the texts. Excellent. I'm now going to group them. I'm going to zoom back into my slide. And now I need to add covers. And the reason I need to do this is so that when the numbers scroll up, you can't see them fly up the page. So first of all, I click a rectangle and I'm going to put it there. And then this is going to be the bottom cover. And I'm going to make this white and no outline. Then I'm going to use Control and Shift to make a copy of it up the top. Align it to the top and put it exactly where it needs to go there. So now if we view this slide full screen, you can see it's got a cover to cover all the text that we don't want to see. So now we just have to make sure that this is sent to back, the numbers are sent to back, and then we can see the faster than last year text over the top. And so this is the order we want. Now we'll Control D to duplicate the slide. Then we go to Transitions and make sure Morph is selected. And then finally for this one, we want to select the text and move it up to the number we want to go to. I'm holding down Shift while I'm doing this to make sure it stays in the right place horizontally. So I'm going to go to 20%. And then when I play from this slide and go to the next slide, we've got our roller counter and you can also go back. Quite a cool effect, I think. Now let's look at how we can add a background to that. So I'm just going to select both slides, press Control D, and now on the first slide, I'm going to right click and choose Format Background. I'm going to go to Picture or Texture Fill, Insert Stock Images. And I'm going to type Abstract and select this one, which is the one I used in the example. So what that's done is it's made a slide background. And the reason this is so good is it means we can click on these white panels and we can choose slide background fill for those. And that will give us a seamless effect. I'm just going to go in and make this text white. And then I have two options. I can either control D to duplicate this slide and move it again, or I can put the slide background onto these. In this example, I'm going to create the slide background again on this one. So I'm going to go to right click, format background, I'm going to choose Picture or Texture Fill, 
insert stock abstract insert and then I'm going to click on the top panel slide background and the bottom panel slide background fill then finally just select the text make it white and play excellent there you go a really easy and simple and quick way to create a really dynamic motion effect directly inside PowerPoint. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.